We're gonna break a world record today. But let me back up first. My favorite food is rotisserie chicken. Gosh, do I love a hot, juicy rotisserie. My second favorite food is chicken nuggets. I have nuggets every single night before bed. I eat, sleep, and breathe chicken. I guess you could call me a chicken connoisseur. And that's what today's all about. And where my friend Linja comes in. Today, we'll attempt to break the official world record for the world's largest chicken nugget. That's right, and this is not our first party. Not long ago, we successfully made the world's largest cake pop. It was 44.24 kilograms, just shy of 100 pounds. Our videos racked up over 60 million views, and we saw all sorts of news articles about our crazy achievement. And while reading some of these articles, we found another headline. A chicken nugget that weighed over 50 pounds. You see, this nugget was the king of all nuggets. It was as large as 720. 20 regular nuggets. But there was a problem. They couldn't meet the rigorous standards upheld by Guinness World Record. And that's where we come in. Today, Lynch and I will be the first people crazy enough to ever attempt, and more importantly, succeed at achieving the first ever world's largest chicken nugget. If all goes well, by the end of today, we'll be the first ever holders of this coveted title. Because Guinness is so incredibly strict and it's so hard to get a record, no one has even tried to get the nugget. So we're making history in all kinds of ways today. Throughout this process, there will be several people watching us. We'll have a food inspector, a surveyor, and most importantly, our adjudicator, Claire. At the end of the day, it'll be up to Claire whether or not we get that title. But before we begin, there are four different common chicken nugget shapes. And I'm not talking about dino nuggets. I say we head on over to McDonald's to do a bit of market research first. But before we do that, we're catching up to Gordon, so make sure you smack that subscribe button below. Smack! Enough talking, Nick. Time to get going. We have pulled up to McDonald's, and the objective here is figure out exactly what shape we want to make our giant world record nugget. Well, how many different shapes of nuggets are there? How many different nugget shapes are there? Yeah, shapes. Linja, it's time to figure out what shape we're gonna be making today. Here are all the shapes of the nuggets. We got a bell, we have a ball, we got a boot, and a bone. Nick, I think we should make a bone. Let's go back home and break some records. We are back from McDonald's. Nick, you gotta get in. We're back from McDonald's. And we're gonna make a nugget a thousand times bigger than this. Time to cook. You better pick up that nugget, Nick. To begin, we'll start by tossing 40 slices of white bread into a bowl. Get rid of that, Nick. Nobody likes end pieces. Now to soak all that bread, we're gonna go in with one half gallon of whole milk. The cows are working really hard for this. Now it's time to mush it all up. Now we let it soak while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. Between these 48 eggs and our 40 pounds of chicken, we're gonna be using close to 60 whole chickens today. To begin, we'll crack 40 eggs. Linja, this is a lot of chickens. I feel kind of bad about this. Yeah, me too. I was surprised to find out that the hardest thing about cracking 40 eggs is the fact that your hands get absolutely freezing. Excellent. <laughs> Once our eggs are all ready, it's time to whisk them up. Mix Faster, Nick. I'm trying. Get the mega ball. What you're looking at right here is 40 pounds of ground chicken. And now into our bowl we go. What are you doing, Nick? Frosting a cake? Just so you all know, getting a Guinness World Record is no easy feat. We even have a health inspector watching to make sure Lynch is not taking any shortcuts. Lynch, I'm watching you. And now it's seasoning time. We're gonna start out with some onion and garlic powder. Two whole jars of Osmo. A bunch of fresh cracked pepper. Nick, how long do I have to do this? Keep going, Linja. My shoulder! My cabbages! And to finish off our seasoning, optional MSG. Now it's finally time to combine everything and make that giant nugget. First things first, we'll pour in all of our eggs. I can't believe they make bowls this big. And then in we go with our soggy bread. And now we mix. This has to be one of the more nasty looking things we've ever made in the kitchen, Linja. In order to bake this chicken nugget since it's so large, we have to make a special contraption. And that's where Chef Bill comes in. It looks like a giant bird cage and it's about one half a linja length tall. Before we put the chicken in, we're gonna line it with parchment. And now, I'm not sure if you remember this from our last Guinness World Record, but it's time to spread. Finally, it's time to fill up our mold, shovel it all in. And shove it up your butt. <laughs> Linja, I feel like a construction worker right now. You're not gonna meet quota, better hurry up. Give me the darn shovel. If you want a job done right, you better do it yourself. <laughs> or at least not let Nick do it. To finish things up before we put it in the oven, we're gonna crack a few more eggs into a bowl. And now it's time to do some painting. I've made a lot of dino nuggets in my time, but never have I used a paintbrush. We're basically gonna paint our egg wash across the entire chicken nugget so that we have something for all those beautiful breadcrumbs to adhere to. Ultimately, this isn't gonna look like a nugget unless we have that beautiful golden brown look that those McDonald's nuggets have. What 
What are you, Jackson Pollock now? Now to finish things off, we'll do a light and gentle sprinkle of breadcrumbs across the entire nugget. If you can't tell, this nugget is almost as big as Linja, which means we can't bake it in our oven at home. So we're gonna take it up the road and bake somewhere else. Believe me, when you call people asking them to use their oven so that you can make the world's largest chicken nugget, most people are pretty skeptical. But fortunately, we found one place. Linja, am I doing okay? The poor chicken nuggets, <laughs> slow down! Don't ever drive like that again! We made it to the Cambridge School of Culinary Arts, where they kindly offered up an oven large enough to bake our record-breaking nugget. So these are the fancy ovens we're gonna be using, which will hopefully cook the nugget through, and also faster, because in our testing, it took 12 hours. Open her up. And finally, in we go. It's in the oven, so now we wait. This is how many people it takes to get a Guinness World Record, and we're just doing a chicken nugget here. But the most important person there is holding that certificate that we desperately need. We are here to check on the chicken nugget. It's been over four and a half hours, and this is what we're working with. We put some aluminum on the top to try to help it cook a little bit faster. Say aluminum. 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 <laughs> but for now, we'll just take a look and see how it's coming along. It feels like heavier than it was before. There's a nice crust to it. We want the crunch when we have a chicken nugget. What we're basically making here is not actually a nugget. It more looks just like a cake. We're gonna put it back in. It needs a bit more time, but when we come back, we'll add the breadcrumbs and go away. it. Oh my God. <gasps> Time to cut off the edges and bread the sides. Oh, would you be careful? Gosh, Nick, you cut that. Right. Now we're just gonna gently pull back on the sides and hope the chicken nugget doesn't collapse in on itself because of all the weight. Push, Nick, push! At this point, we're gonna paint up all the sides of our gigantic nugget with egg wash so that we can stick breadcrumbs to the side and make the whole thing look like a well-composed nugget. The Guinness rules state that it has to look exactly like a nugget, just larger. Now back in the oven to get it nice and golden brown. Oh God! Hey, whoa, Michael. Oh God! And just like that, I think our nugget is complete, but first... The inspector has to take his final temperature. So this has to be at least 165, or it has to go back in the oven. What is it? 175. We made it. Excellent. Our nugget was perfect. Beautiful, delicious smelling, and golden brown. Nick, I know it's not all day. Back again like flu season, I broke records while loose leaf and I'm coming. Open it up, Nick! Don't give a f I don't care, uh, did the f my lonesome. You better drive safe with that f Nugget. We are on a main road right now going about eight, nine miles an hour, but we have to keep this thing safe. Go slower, Nick. We made it back with the nugget. Now put it down, Nick. My name is Kenny Palazzolo, and I'm today's surveyor. You may remember me from the Lost World Record. You got yep. that, Guinness? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tear our pan and get ready for the weigh-in. So we have a pan weight of 1.755 kilograms. So first things first, we're gonna lift the whole nugget over onto a new tray because we have to remove all this excess stuff to be able to weigh just the chicken nugget itself. Now for the big scary moment, we have to slide this thing off the wire rack. Oh my gosh. Wow, that, that is big. Now for our final measurement. So we have 20.960 kilograms, which in my estimate is just a little over 46 pounds. What do you think? Congratulations, you're officially amazing. And just like that, we've got another world record to add to the list. This nugget here is 1,400 times bigger than this nugget. Let us know what record you want us to break next. Happy cooking. Oh my god, you're so <laughs> 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 That is so good. Another day in record breaking.